Well, thank goodness Alexi Lafreniere scored a goal last night because had he not, I'd likely be reading once again about how he's overrated, not ready, or worse, a bust. So I begin this edition of Feisty Friday by thanking our lucky stars that we can hopefully put that ridiculous narrative right to bed. I mean, if you spend any time on Twitter, you'd know that prior to this, his first goal, and yes, a very clutch one at that, the guy we lovingly refer to as Laugh here in New York, I know it's Jersey, but same, same, but different. Uh, he'd become a bit of a punchline on social media. A quick Twitter search, and it wouldn't take long to find comparisons to other rookies who look better, suggestions that maybe he should be sent down to the American Hockey League when it starts back up because he's not ready, or jokes like this one, as recently as last night, poking fun at the fact that 43-year-old Big Z had potted a goal before Lap did. That tweet aged well, eh? In fairness, Nick is a professional troll, so I don't think he was genuinely concerned about Lafreniere, but tweeters gonna tweet and trollers gonna troll. Nick is a great follow, though, by the way. But I digress, because heck, even Devils fans were coming at me last week on Instagram because I was hyping my excitement for the first overall pick, a player they were criticizing for having not a single point in his first handful of games and screaming, presumably, Jack Hughes is better. And you know what? Maybe he is right now, but do fans not remember that Jack Hughes, too, needed a few games before finding the back of the net last year? Why do we do this? Why do we overreact anytime a top tier draft pick takes a minute to get settled into the best league in the entire world? Are we really this dramatic? Lafreniere just started. It's not like we haven't seen this before, right? 99.9% .9 of the time, these guys, the very best in the world, they figure it out. Case in point, Jack Hughes, who I already mentioned, appears to be just fine after a slow start in a tough spot situation-wise last year. Now, he has seven points in seven games to start this season. Taylor Hall. He only had one assist in his first seven games in the National Hockey League. And uh, if I do recall, I believe that he won a heart trophy. Safe to say he's done all right for himself. Or how about Steven Stamkos? This is probably my favorite example. I mean, Stammer didn't have a single point in his first seven games and only put up 46 his rookie year. Now the guy's got a 60-goal season, a Stanley Cup ring, and one of the more memorable goals in a cup final in recent memory. I mean, good thing none of these guys listened to the naysayers that surely existed back then, too. And the kicker? At least all of those examples had a full training camp and a preseason to get warmed up for the real deal. Let's not forget that Laugh basically started his NHL career ice freaking cold. So if the kid happens to go a few more games before he gets another one, let's all collectively take a deep breath, knock it off, and chill. Lucky number 13, he's going to be just fine.